up with the Veil Mineral Primer from Hourglass. And so this is a sample. I have so many samples and I want to try things. So I thought, why not do a video with samples? So I'm just going to work this as a primer. I don't know. Every time I order stuff from like Ulta or Sephora, they go ahead and send samples. So I thought, why not? My face is kind of like not in the best condition right now. But, oh well. Screw it. It's a life. It's real. There's no filter. <laughs> so, yeah. This is what I'm going to do. This is oil free dyes. So, just letting you know, it has. Um, Spectrum SPF 15 and then I'm gonna go in with this foundation um, it's a medium which I think it'll work for me is the other sample it's by it cosmetics and pull this out and we're gonna try uh, this foundation uh, right here I'm squeeze this out on the back of my hand and then just get my beauty blender and just work it in there to see how I like this. Honestly guys, I think this is a good foundation if you're wanting like a light to medium coverage. On the package it says if you want a full coverage foundation then go ahead and use it in the morning. Like does that even make a difference if you're going to put it in the morning, afternoon, or evening? I don't know. But I still see some blemishes, um, and so it's not my favorite right off the bat, as in coverage-wise. Because of that, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Kat Von D and just put a little bit on the back of my hand and just put it on some of the areas to do a little bit more coverage. Because, like I said, I don't like the coverage of this foundation. So right off the bat... It's not my favorite, or it's not to my liking, as in coverage-wise. Um, but if you have, like, a nice, like, clean, I don't know how to put it. If your skin's not as, like, bad as mine, and you just need, like, a light coverage, or to medium coverage, then I think this foundation is, like, really good for you. Is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Anti Crease Eyeshadow Primer? This right here, but because I actually own it, I'm not gonna use this, but I will still apply it on my eyes. So, I already did my eyebrows off camera. Um, something really special. I'm using the nail that's broken since I can get right in there. In there. Sample eyeshadows, but I do get smaller, like little packaging, like the Hot Mama one, like this little pretty eyeshadow that was in my Ipsy, and this one is don't even know the name. I don't know. But we're gonna put it on the eyelid, and yeah, I do prime it. So I'm going to go in with this. None of these are samples except for this one right here. So I'm just going to pick up this light purple one right here. Um, I don't even remember the names of these. But I'm just going to put in the crease area. These are by Morphe though. I know that. I can't remember the name of it though. I have to look, it, look at it. and I'll, probably, I'll just put it in the description in the bottom. I don't feel like taking out the pod right now while I'm doing this. Next will be that little sample right here. Kind of just depotted it. It's also by Hot Mama as well. Right? Yeah, Hot Mama. And I'm just going to work this in the little corner right here. 
and let's just move that all the way. So like the look is like colorful but not wet up there. It's like subtle, I guess you can say like a subtle colorness. I don't know. I just woke up guys, so I'm just kinda like, eh. Lately I've been sleeping really late, like it's just hard to sleep now. Leaving it bye bye under eye concealer. This is gonna be my other sample that I'm going to use. Since it is basically a video of um, um samples. So in the shade medium, I'm just gonna go in with this real techniques brush. It's the point of foundation brush. I usually use this brush for like applying my masks. But it says one a little amount with finger um top onto skin. Okay, I'm only gonna go with the brush, but I guess you just kinda rub it in. I'm kind of scared, I'm not going to lie, because I have my favorite concealer already. And so, I know it's supposed to be under the eye area only, but screw it. Let's see how this works. I don't know how I feel about this. using my beauty blender because I feel the consistency of this is really thick um so yeah it's not like my other what am I being my being Mabel Mabelly one oh my god people talk right um so it is a little thick on that area I don't know right if I should have put this on my forehead okay experimenting here. I definitely gonna have to set this because it is a little thick. I don't know guys. I don't know if I like this. So I feel like it's already like starting to crease and I just can't deal. I'm gonna go in with this because I didn't like it. But actually, now that I think about it, I think I have tried this before and I just didn't like it. So, yeah. Okay, guys, this is the look that I came up with. I know I didn't do my lips on on um, camera. My mind is still blank. It's still early for me. But I did the Trustique lipstick. And yeah, this is in the shade Belize Vortex. I believe that's what it is. But yeah, so that's what I have my lips on, and this is the look. I didn't really go into like my bronzy, my blush, and all that stuff, only because I was really concentrating on the samples of like the foundation and the um, concealer. So and a little bit of the eyeshadow that I got as samples. But yep, this is the look that I came up with, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it and really like it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos and go ahead and hit that little bell. And yeah, so I'm not gonna do anything in my hair right now since I'm gonna go and refresh it. Um, but yep, that's it, guys, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.